Well, hello, hello, hello. I'm back. I meant it when I said I was going to be right back and start this video. I was actually telling the truth. I wasn't lying. Really? So I am working on this. And why does my TV set suddenly turn on by itself? Holy mackerel. It's like possessed. Hold on a second. Let's try that again. Stop. Can you guys tell? Does anybody know the music? That is really weird. Okay, I'm trying it here. Okay, it's... I, I don't understand. Where's that voice coming from? I'm haunted now. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Okay, I'm leaving this in, guys. And you could just laugh or say, oh, good Lord. I need to go find somebody else to watch on YouTube, <laughs> whichever. But anyway, I am here. I want to play with this. This is something I picked up from Craft Day from HSN. And it's the, uh, the Resist Stamps from crafters companion and i got it came with all three i've already like opened up i haven't played with them but i've opened them up but let me so let me grab them here so this is the one i want to do now for pride for my daughters um but i did get it came with a three set it came with the sunflower one and then also the mandela which is not in here i have the envelope what did i do with the stamp itself i don't know where it went to it's here somewhere buried i shoved it aside i know i did so it's all of these three, but I'm doing the butterflies, one, because I like butterflies, but two, because I really did want to do that rainbow effect. So I've already pulled out some of my colors. I've got my um, Distress Oxide, my Candied Apple, Carved Pumpkin, Mustard Seed, my um, Salty Blue Ocean, and then my Purple. And I'm going to have to pause here in a second because right before I started, I saw I saw Elvis run off with my dauber with the purple um, sponge on it because he's back at it. He hadn't stolen anything off my desk in a while, the scamp. And today he's like, oh, by the way, just in case you thought I forgot. Oh, no, I haven't forgotten to do this. So I'm going to need to go leave and come back in a minute and go find the dauber. So I will be right back. Well, hi there. I'm back. I wanted to confirm that I found the dauber under the kitchen table. It took a little bit of doing, but I did track it down. And Elvis is back at the scene of the crime, eyeballing the dauber. He wants the dauber. I don't know what this cat's fascination is with daubers, but it's his favorite thing to steal. Mm. I'm sorry, I needed a sip of water. Um, off my desk. I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. I don't know what his thing is. But anyway... I did take a second also, and then I have all my colors out. I went actually looking because normally what I do is on all of these, I have little Velcro tabs to store my um, little sponges, and I know that I have put them away somewhere. Where I have put them away is the question of the hour. So, you know, there you go. Bear with me. And what I'm also going to do, I'm going to take a second here and zoom in a little bit closer and get my bearings. I'm a little rusty here, so... Um, bear with me today, guys. Um, but I got all my supplies together, including the unnecessary cat. I have got my card that I'm going to be stamping and what I am using. Or not stamp. Well, yes, actually, I will be stamping and ink blending. You guys, are you watching this, guys? I it, see. This is it. This is what I put up with. This is this. I don't know what it is. Okay, you want the dauber? Is that what it, you just want the dauber, don't you? Yep. There he goes, and away he goes with the dauber. So I'm not going to bother with him. We're just going to turn around. <laughs> and he's rolling it. And we're just going to grab another dauber from my stash here. But that's what I can see him now. He's rolling it around on the floor. That's why he likes it. He is now. That's why it was under the table. He's chasing it around. So now you have seen it. The cat stealing the dauber. So you can now, uh, you know. Rest assured that I am not yanking your guys' chain. So anyway, so I've got my cardstock here. What I use for my ink blending, my current favorite right now is Bristol Can or Canson Bristol Smooth. You can get this. Um, I think I want to get this. I got this at Hobby Lobby, but you can you know get it pretty much anywhere. It's just what I like to use for ink blending. It's not like I'm this like oh, ink blender, but there you go. I already have cut down my cardstock. Um, for, I'm making a two, so five by sevens. I decided I want to um, offset it a little bit, so I already cut some black background. I already had an idea what I wanted to do, um, so I've cut some pieces back because if you're making one, why not make four? I mean, I'm making two, 
one for each of my two daughters um, who are both gay. So uh, I, I hope that you guys can respect the fact that no matter what, I love my daughters. And if you can't and feel the need to tune out, I respect your beliefs in that as long as you can respect um, mine and hope you can hang with me. Um, I, I No matter what, uh, whether I agree or not, I love my daughters unequivocally, unconditionally, no matter what. They could be hatchet murderers. I would still visit them in prison, and I would still love them. But, you know, there you go. I mean, they both are in long-term relationships. And my daughter, Olivia's partner, Angie, I just adore. And my uh, other daughter, Tatiana, just got married last December. In fact, if you've been watching with me for a while, you would have remembered I said I went up for her wedding um, in Sacramento in December. So, um, And there you go. So I am making them pride cards because, I, you know, I love butterflies. This lent itself with a color scheme to the rainbow. And there you go. I wanted to use it so that it was the excuse. So, all right. Having said that, you know, I just wanted to clarify that. Um, I'm hopefully you guys are still with me. So let's get to business. Let's get this stamped out. So I'm going to go ahead and break out my Tim Holtz because I don't know because of the size of paper and what I want to do, whether I'm going to be able to stamp like I normally do. I mean, just, you know, hold it down with the magnets because I don't know why because <laughs> just because let me peel this off I already know it was a hard peel I did a test stamp with it just so that I could get a feel for it and not be come off as a complete blithering idiot on camera with you guys I mean I'm sure I'll do something that will confirm that I'm a dimwit but oh you know what I can do okay so if I put it way down here at the bottom I'm leave myself a little bit of space just to be able to oh no I can't no well yes I can see the thing is I've got to figure out where I can so I can put the magnet down and hold it down so if I do it here if I hold my paper down right here at the edge I will still and it, this I mean I'm just going doing some effort to the um oh what's the word I'm looking for centering and I really don't have to because I could trim it out and if the butterflies are crooked well okay so who cares it's not like I mean if you watch butterflies they they flit and you know cattywampus and I'll be honest with you guys you should see me as of late if I'm out in the garden and uh, I'm chasing after those little white little really cute little white butterflies they their worms are cabbage loopers they are the enemy they like to eat my plants, my tomatoes, and they have laid waste to my broccoli that I planted late. But still, it was still it was still chugging along. So they are the enemy. You have never seen. You, you would think I was a lunatic if you saw me chasing after these butterflies. Whatever I can find at hand, a stick, the end of the hose, you know, a broom. Oh, I'm like a crazy woman. So anyway, it's it's just something else. But I but I but still they're butterflies, so I don't kill them. I just discourage them greatly from coming into my yard. So now to do the distress, we're going to start with white piece of paper. We're going to stamp straight onto it. And um, we're going to emboss, and I should have, yep, I have my clear embossing powder here. I've got my Spun Stamper's Journey, my True Color Fusion Whipped Cream. I love this. And I have my Mr., what's his name, is Mr. Milwaukee. Mr. Milwaukee is here, and we are going to get to the business of getting this done. So, so let me do less chatter and more projects. So... Let me just ink this up really, really well. And as I am inking, I already forgot. What did I forget? Is anybody paying attention to what I have forgotten? Yep. I forgot to go ahead and hit my paper first with my anti-static. But we're going to do that now anyway because this stays damp for a good amount of time. So no harm, no foul. Again, even if it's crooked, who cares? It's not like these all are straight themselves. So... We'll just do that. I just want to stamp it a little bit. There we go. I just want do want it to be straight right there. Yep. Okay. Do that. And now that I do have the ability to hold it down, I'm going to just stamp down. And I do have to make that little tool, the chuck. I am going to make it. I want to do it with you guys so you can see that 
it is not as hard as it looks or as difficult. You can, anybody can throw this together, especially if I can. Trust me, anybody can. Okay, I have a problem. And that is uh, it is sticking to the paper, which I might have known. So we are hopefully that was, it looks good. That looks, oh no, it is not good. So we are going to try to put a little magnet down here. That. Because I think, I don't think it moved. We're going to find out in a minute when I restamp. Let's find out if I totally screwed up. And if I did, there is always the back side of the paper, right? Or another piece of paper right there. I knew I should have done two magnets. But let's see if it didn't move. We're going to find out. Let's push this down. There we go. Yeah, I need to break out a new piece of paper. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I contemplated for a hot second um, to just allow to, I'm going to, uh, through the magic of video editing, make my mistake disappear. And I have decided not to. You guys need to see the mistake because that's how we all learn. And you, and you guys have to know that there is recovery after being an idiot. I mean, and that's not that I'm accusing you guys, but boy, am I outing myself. So let's just stamp this all in again. And this time what I did, and I did not do this on camera, and I, for, and I apologize for that, is I just grabbed my purple tape, and I have just taped it down to the platform to get it to stay in place while I stamp it. So that what was my should have been my, my go-to from the beginning, and I didn't do it. And I'm sorry. Boy, am I sorry. But that's okay, because that one will just let it dry by itself, and I will use the back side of the paper. Hello. No harm no foul so I mean, it was just an it's an easy recovery so let's see now let me take a peek and i am not doing a very good job of pressing this down so let me i'm gonna get up a minute there we go this is why we need those handy dandy tools but And we will make it work. So now let's grab Handy Dandy, Mr. Milwaukee. Heat it up for a second. And then let's let's let the magic happen. La -da -da. There we go. I am I love watching embossing powder do its thing. I'm like a little kid, it's just, to me, it is just magic, the magic of, you know, what is it, chemistry, physics, a little of both, but here we go, we're getting all our butterflies, all embossed, there we go. 
And then you hang on me, grab it from the other end. It's not like I don't have tweezers. And let me go from underneath. If I do from underneath also, it won't warp as much. Except that I have tape under there. There we go. Yep. Alrighty then. I think there we go. We have all of these butterflies very beautifully embossed. Got oh no, no, we don't. I saw a corner. I see a part that ain't shiny. Ah, there we go. And there's a piece there. Yeah, it's right at the corners. There we go. Now. And down here. Now I'm checking all the corners. Since apparently the corners are an issue. But no, this one was fine. Okay. That is fine. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to peel the tape off and trim this out a bit. Okay, so I'll be right back. All right, kids, I am back. I have switched out platforms. Apparently, it actually was a platform issue as well. I grabbed my Misty, and I just did one, and I had an easier time of stamping it out. So since, like I said, if one is good, four is better. Oh, maybe I should take, let me take that magnet out. Whoops. Um, I did want to show you that apparently platform matters, and I can tell my paper, and this is crooked, and guess what? I don't care. Because they're just butterflies. It's not like they have to be completely straight. But yes, I'm having a better time. A bit. And I, I don't know why. And I think the foam helps. Mind you, I'm also having the press in no matter what. I don't know. I think, you know, it's platform. I'm wondering if there's something to these stamps. Because these are not photo photopolymer. I believe they are acrylic. And why? They do that because I know that Crafter's Companion does do um, photopolymer. So why these would be acrylic, but let's see while I'm pressing that I'll do two things at once. Um, no, it does. It is photopolymer. So, okay, it could be platform. It could be operator error. Who knows? Maybe I just don't know what the heck I'm doing. All right? Because heaven forbid, that would be the case. But if nothing else, if there's anybody, any of you are like me, who struggle, there you go, then just know that you are not alone. But let's see, this, but I am definitely having less of a time, except for just these little thin lines. But I just want to make sure that I get them all in so that I get a good embossing in. So let's see, does that look? Okay, I can live with that. I should just get over myself. So let's just lift up my little magnets here, try to keep them from sticking to each other. And while I'm, whoops, removing tape, I'm going to start heating that up. And then let me just grab my tweezers so I do not melt my fingers. Wait a minute, I don't have to do that yet. Let me stop that for a second. I forgot, maybe before I start embossing, maybe I should add the powder. What do you guys think? Hmm? Sound like a plan, some sound ideas. And I've got stuff in here and it's showing up. I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna just have to invest in a new jar of clear. Cause I have, it's kind of like gotten contaminated with other embossing powder. And of course I forgot. And it, you know what the funny thing is that on the last one I just did, it was in the exact same spot. I had to remove embossing powder. Is that not funny? Okay, that's got to be operator error. I'm going to claim that one. But let's just get all our butterflies all covered. Let's take a peek. Of course, I just took it off and now I picked up some more. move some of it off and what stays stays I'm not gonna totally get crazy about this I should have remembered to use my anti-static but remember guys as always this is just the beauty of a handcrafted item 
that's the euphemism for I screwed up. <laughs> now that I have let this cool down again, but still, that's just get this all embossed. I'm over this. I'm over this step. Except now I definitely have multiples. I hope you can see it, see this. I'm just not. Don't feel like holding it because I'm tired and lazy, or just plain lazy. Make that all, make it all shiny. There we go. Right there we go. And I'm not too concerned because I can always add one little spot there. Uh-oh, and I've got some up here and I didn't catch that. We will have to figure out something. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. All righty. So I got all, nope, except for the center. I just, I just saw that. Sometimes the angle with my light here. Boy, I missed a whole bunch. How funny, it's just the angle of the light. So I'm going all around here to make sure. Okay. So let me come back. Let me clean up my stamp real quick and I'll be right back. All right, peeps, I'm back. I have four usable backgrounds. Some of them have been stamped on both sides. That one is the no side. You can tell I put a little X there to remind me. Yeah, don't work on that. And some of them are only stamped on one side. So if I'm not happy, I have the back side. This is the original one that I double stamped. So I wanted you to. So I wanted to go ahead and use this one because I went back in and I just stamped the back side and just did my thing. So now we're ready to do the inking. God help us all. So my point is, I plan on doing rainbow colors. So we'll see. And I'm, I'm contemplating seriously being um, brave because when I hit, you know, because it'll be Roy B. Give, so it'll be red, orange, yellow, and then it should be green. But I think if I blend my yellow and my blue together, I'm going to get that green in the middle. So let's see. And I'm not the best blender. So I also may, you know, play it safe and go in with my green. So we're going to see. We'll see how this all works out. But we're going to start first with candied apple. And I'll use that really to hold this down to try to keep my, my dirty fingers. Oh, I did take a minute and I washed my hands. Put that out of the way. And let's just ink up. And let's just, I mean, let's just start in. What is the worst that can happen? I have three others, so. And let's just go in and let me grab it. And even though I've started high, I'm going to be trimming this down. So I want to go in a little bit deeper. And I'm not stressing about the fact that I now have, you know, basically red butterflies because I can come in afterwards and you will see we will clean these up. So and all it is is just going in here. And I really do love, and these are my, um, the, the Tim Holtz, the Distress Oxide. And oh my gosh, I just love how they blend. So I'm, you know what? I have a zillion, not a zillion, but quite a few of these. So let me just grab another one and then I can just go back and forth because that would be the logical thing to do, would it not?
and I mean it's not perfect but I think honestly amongst all I love the blend between the red and the orange the best it seems very subtle but as the one thing I will say is as it dries it's going to even you know even out a little bit more and I'm wondering is instead of going straight if I gone on the diagonal how much cooler that would look but we've got that done let me go ahead I'm gonna heat it I'm gonna heat set it first a little bit before I come in and wipe it down so give me just a second I'll be right back okay so now I've heat set it a little bit but now all we do is we take my little cloth here and look and then some more magic we're just I'm just lightly buffing this it's all I'm doing I'm just buffing it with my microfiber towel and I'm sitting here all stressed out about making this one dirty when we just I'm sitting here I can practically see it from here on the couch the package of new ones that we just bought at Costco or Sam's whichever one we were at the other day so it's like really Meyer get over yourself And that's where the magic lies. And there you go. Isn't that really, really pretty? I am like really, really not perfect, but I'm pleased. I can't say that I'm horrifically disappointed. So let me make some space here real quick. And then we're going to trim this down and we're going to assemble our card. Okay. Alrighty. So by now you should know that when I can never leave well enough alone. So in the, before I came back, I went in and did one on the diagonal so I mean you guys can make a comparison and make a decision which you like better I I don't know <laughs> like I actually like them both equally as much now let me take a moment though and I should have done this off camera but I'm going to just really quickly give my fingers a wipe and then just dry them off on this cloth the microfiber cloth just to get ink off of them but now I'm ready to build this card. Now, right now, my panels are cut the same size as my card. My evil plan was always to, I think, put them on a back, black background and then this. But let's see. Let's see. Right now, this is cut A25 by 7. So let me take my little trimmer here. We're going to cut it back. So I'm going to take a quarter inch off. And and see now which side do I want to do right now? I'm going to take I'm only going to go in an eighth on each side so that it is even. I'm not even sure that is even or not. I mean, if you it's really noticeable the difference, you know, on where those butterflies are at. And maybe I'm just being crazy. Uh, yeah, there is a shock, right? Me being a nut. Now, unfortunately, this way I cannot tell. And I'm far too exacting for that. So we're going to bring out young Mr. Caterpillar, Caterpillar. Because now, so here I'm at, at 7. So I can come in to... I don't want to take it all off here. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me go out a bit here. And then come here this way and bring it all the way to six and three quarters. Now let's see. Let's take a look real quick for a second before I make a final decision. Is do I like it? Wow, I didn't even do a very good job of scoring there, did I? I can see it's a little crookedy. Do I like it just like that? Um, here's the funny thing. I do. I don't think I want to put it because I was going to layer it and shrink everything down, but I'm, I'm suddenly not feeling that. I think I'm going to leave this as is. Now, my question is, do I bring it up? No, I'm not going to because I've also decided to put a sentiment down here, um, so yeah, then that's now, now that I, now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Dream on, Myra, dream on, Mad Scrapper. Okay, but meanwhile, we're just going to go ahead and, and just stick to this one. So I'm going to take an eighth off. Actually, no, 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 this side, because I, it is kind of wonky. I think I'm going to take the full quarter off on this side and it'll look more even. Yeah, 
I, I mean, still not perfect, but you know what? I can't imagine any of my girls taking a ruler to this. It ain't going to happen. So now do I want to, t I think I'm almost doing the same thing here. I'm going to take the full quarter or pretty much almost all of it. Let's see. Let's take a look because that's still not six and three quarters yet. It's actually it is. And let's see. Let's look at this real quick for a second. I just, okay, I'm going to take a little bit more just because it doesn't, you know, and maybe I'm just being crazy. I know, I know, I know, I know. I can hear you guys all laughing at me in the background. That the fact that I am crazy is a far gone conclusion. Trust me, there are people lined around here who know me all my life that can assure you of that fact. Okay, I'm going to take off a little bit. I just want to make it even, and to me, it, it's not... I'm I'm really... I tend to like things really, really symmetrical, and I probably should get over that. Because I could just solve the whole problem by putting it crooked, right? But this makes me happy. Okay, close enough for government work. Now, all I'm going to do... Me, but this is not as clean as I would like it. Where would I put my wet ones? They're right here. Hang on a second. Let's wipe this down. It's just bugging me. I feel it. Let's wipe all of this stuff off. I don't even know if you see that I'm actually wiping. I don't know if I'm wiping ink on or what I am doing. But let's just do that real quick. And then I'll just grab my, my, my cloth here. Yeah. And I'll feel better. There we go. It feels much like glass. It's what I, one of the things I love about this glass mat is that, oh my goodness. Okay. Now, set this aside now. Let's get back to the business at hand, which is we are now going to glue these down. So I'm just going to take my handy dandy big mama. Come here, mama. And we're just going to go around the edges. Just once. One little strip. I could probably just do corners, actually, and still. It doesn't need to, you know, to survive the zombie apocalypse. Or in this case, possibly the, the butterfly apocalypse. Okay. That looked good. That one looks good. And then I'll have to decide who gets which one of these cards. Because <laughs> if you think those girls aren't going to be comparing those, they don't live together. For a while there, they were living together. But then Tatiana got married. And they got a place of their own. Although now they're going to be moving in with Brandolin's parents because they want to save money faster to buy a place of their own. And this makes sense to me. Let me... And I'm not real happy that how... That got scored. Those are not... Where are my other cards? Let me... There we go. Okay, that one looks a little bit better. Yeah, I don't know why it just didn't score straight. Okay, and we're just going to take the same thing. And see, this is the one where I didn't like how the embossing went. And that's the one where we had the mistakes. Yeah, that's where I had some up here too. And I'm like, well, okay, I can solve that easily. And that's why I leave things like this in here. And I don't, you know, you don't see this beautiful uh, editing where there's, you know, everything is perfect because I want you guys to see that it's okay to make mistakes and that you do recover from them. That's the other thing that there are always get around there's the back side of paper or there's just another piece of paper people it's just paper you know always remember that and you know i know it's easy to send them because i know like you know i'm just like you guys too it's like ah! but you know it's okay it's part of the process so there now we got these all squared away and now I need to find, because I had my die. I'm not even using, give me a second, let me locate my die, and we're going to cut out our sentiments. Okay, one heck, hang on. Okay, I'm back, and I was gone longer than you think I was, um, but I had to gather my dies. I wanted to, I knew that on the front I wanted to use my Catherine Pooler Celebrate. I love 
the, the script of this. And then I knew I wanted to put love. But I was as I was thinking, what color am I going to cut it out? I realized, ding-a-ling, let's do some more rainbows. So I took a few minutes and I went ahead and rainbowed up two pieces of paper, just regular white paper. This wasn't even brand, uh, Canson, um, just so you know, which look how well it blended. Well, not as perfectly. This looks prettier than this. But really, I think it's going to work right. By the time it's died out, you know, die cut out, it's not noticeable. So I went ahead and just used a um, piece of paper because I wanted to do the celebrate out of this sparkly paper. I have some bits left from another project. Um, and then I'm going to do like a couple of layers like I do how you've seen me do with this. And this is the paper. This is just regular um, heavier weight cardstock. Um, and I wanted to do that. So let me really quick now also lay my hands on where is my embossing folder here it is oh! and here is Le Marquis so let's get these die cut out this love is if I remember correctly this is an Amazon find so I will go looking for it and I'll link you down below I, I got this for Valentine's but look how well and how perfect it came in for this project and let me grab some washi tape. Oh, look what I look what I found another dauber <laughs> one that Elvis didn't find neener neener neener. Okay, let's go ahead and come on. I feel the edge right there. Come here, my pretty cooperate. Apparently the one. Okay, fine. We're just going to grab a piece of here on the sides. Grab washi. I always keep little bits of washi tape right here. And this is this is purple tape with a cat hair on it. But we're just going to go and just put that down and grab my very well loved um, um, full uh, diamond press marquee folder. But you can use these. These guys take a beating and they look all warped and go and and they will still work just fine. Let's just run this through. Let's see what we get. See, I told you. Even as warped as it looks. There we go. Let's pull that out. Oops. Carefully. My right carefully. Oof. I'm getting a little happy here in my excitement. There we go. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? Oh, I love it. Okay, and I'm going to have to cut out. So let me cut out both my rainbows. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to cut my celebrates out of the sparkly and some backgrounds you guys do not need to sit here and spend the next 20 minutes with me cutting this out so i'm going to go ahead and do this in the background and i will be right back Alrighty, i have returned i have cut die cut my all my pieces as usual you guys know i like to um layer up my sentiments when i die cut just so that they stand out a little bit um i wasn't going to do the love because i'm putting it on the inside of the card but I, it was not a, the easiest die cut, and it seems very unstable. So I went ahead. I'm just doing one label layer, excuse me, just to stabilize it. Now, if you guys have seen me, I do a um, when I'm gluing these pieces together, I do a modified VNA. VNA will glue it on her hand, and I and I got tired of pulling the hairs out of my hand with the glue. <laughs> So I just actually, you don't know, know, one day I just decided, hey, this is what I have a glass table mat, mat for, right? So I just squirted out on the table and or on my, excuse me, on my mat here. And it works just fine. Same effect. So whatever makes you happy. I'm not saying that I, I know I can't. There's no way I can say I'm better than she is. There's just no way she's like the goddess. I, I adore her on more levels than I can say. But I just took... um one of her tricks and kind of made it my own so you guys can take and learn from other people and then if not anything that's what I am saying and 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 make it your own adapt it a technique to what works for you and this is what really works for me and so I just as you saw I just squirted my glue down and I'm using the barely art glue because it gives me a little bit extra time to maneuver and line it up and I need that time because right now I don't have nails because I'm digging around in my garden like you can't imagine and it's like why I'm gonna tear it all apart anyway because half the time I forget to put gloves on so like today I had the transplant I was potting two tomatoes and I just started digging in because I make my own potting soil I make my own blend 
And so it's it's a hot mess, to say the least. So And then I started and I realized, like, and, and there I am with no gloves on. And you can't imagine. I was up to my elbows in dirt. Yeah, I was. it was interesting taking a shower today because I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> it was something else. Okay. Okay, so I got that. We've got both our sentiments done. Now let me grab my wet one that I have here waiting on the edge and let me just clean up my corner here. And actually more here because I got glue all over the place. There we go. And normally I would probably shove this back into my envelope because heaven forbid there's an there's that infinitesimal amount of liquid there, but no, we're gonna throw it away. Come on, my girl. Let's not get crazy here. While I am too poor to pay attention, we haven't, you know, gotten really off the deep end. <laughs> okay. So I am ready. I am ready already now to glue these down. And of course we have two cards, but only sediments for one. Well, guess what? I cheated and before I came on camera, I did the other one already. <laughs> so we could just do both. And I, when I'm looking at these cards, I'm really, honestly, I think I'm liking the diagonal look better and maybe I'll do and I still have one more to do and maybe I'm going to go in on the next one and just do a mishmash of the colors in no direction just how it's done on the where is the envelope like on this do something like that where it's kind of like all over the place so we'll see we'll see what I what I decide to do with the other one but right now I'm just here to entertain you with these two so this was my now I can go here actually I might I was, my plan was to put it all the way at the bottom, but those butterflies are awful pretty, and I've got a hole there, too, um, where it's a little bit of a mess up, so let's see, we're here, that mess up is right down here, so I like, I, I like that, I am feeling that, you guys may think, oh, you're just crazy, I, that sucks, what are you thinking of, and, and you might be right, but it's my card. So that's where I am putting it. There you go. We're back to that beauty of a handcrafted item thing. And I'm just going to square. So I, not, I just cleaned this up and totally forgot that I had to glue these down. So we're going to do these really quick. Just pick up a little bit. It's not the same. I was probably, I think I put, on, put down too much and picked up too much. But we will just go down right here. We'll put our little cell break, excuse me, while I look up so that I can, there we go. And there we go. And now we'll come back with our friend here, and I still think I can probably use the, the last of this glue. I'm not going to add more. I'm just going to use what is here. And we're going to put you down here because I want to. And there we go. And where is that? I just, is it reachable? There we go. I'm taking back the one I just used. Why well, grab a new one when I can just use that one? There we go. Wipe that down because I'm gonna want I want fresh glue for this. I'm gonna open up my card. Start with this one. I'm gonna still give that a couple of minutes to dry. Now we're coming in here, and I'm going to put it about right here, a little, not dead center, but a little bit above center, so that gives me enough 
space to write something to the girls there. So, and we're I'm just going to do the same technique. And we'll just do that. And we'll go right and grab it. And just put it in. And let's just lay it down. Let's not, you know, overthink it. And just, hey, not bad. I like that. So there we go. Do this so we have celebrate love. I love that because in the end, love is love. That's, you know, I, I, I don't, you know, you, everyone can think what they want to think. And this is the way I want to think. That's how my faith speaks to me. And I hope that on the day I meet my maker, that I will not be judged because I loved. And there you go. And that's as deep as it's going to get here today. We're not here to get deep. We are here to craft and have fun. So now we're going to go in here and we'll put that sentiment over here. And we're just plopping that in. And that was pretty good. And wow, there you go, guys. I have my two cards for my girls that I can now sign and send off to them. So there you have it. You know, same thing, same, you know, the same technique, a bit of a different look. Um, I, I could have done more and I may still add some shimmer. Well, we, we will chew on this. But regardless, I hope you had some fun hanging out with me. It was so good to do this, I mean, and hang out with you guys. I'm a little rusty, a lot of practice. Um, hopefully you took away something from this. Um, it's, you know, it's not like I have this great technique and this really genius or anything like that. But at least, you know, even in the making of the mistakes, hopefully you see that we can have fun. And that is the point. It's about the process. And... It's okay to make mistakes. You recover from them and you still make really cool things. It's not like I'm tooting my own horns, but I'm happy. So hopefully, you know, you can now go forth and do something like this. But even whether you want to get the ones from Crafter's Companion or you want to use something that you've got, go and, and put your creativity to work and do something. Make something beautiful and then give it to someone, okay? Because that's the best thing we can do with our art is share it, all right? So um, thank you so much for being here. If you would like this, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And um, if you want to see more, I am going to try to get more on a regular schedule while doing my videos. Um, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell and you'll know when I am back. And otherwise, just know that if you're hanging around here, I'm sorry, it's already guilt by association. You are condemned. We're all a little mad here. So let's scrap the madness together. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.